Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video by The Sugar Club. So today we wanted to go over some details about the costs and coverage of some common diabetes medications, both insulin and non-insulin medications. So this information is primarily reflective of Ontario prices and our general estimates, uh, but we'll begin today's conversation with insulins. So we'll get started with rapid acting insulin. As you can see, the price uh, prices shown is for a thousand units. And so that's 100 units per milliliter. So the price is between 60 to $80 per 10 milliliters. Um, so rapid acting insulins typically last for three to five hours and are typically administered shortly before or immediately after a meal. So next, we're gonna move on to short-acting insulins. Um, so the brand name, as you can see, dictates the price, but it's usually in the ballpark between 60 to 70 for a vial. So that's once again, 1000 units or 10 milliliters. So short-acting insulins last between five to eight hours and are administered usually 30 to 60 minutes before a meal. And then next, uh, intermediate acting insulins. As you can see, we have two common brand names shown on the screen. So they are usually $70 for the 10 milliliter vial. So once again, 1000 units and last up to 18 hours. So they're often taken at bedtime or twice a day. So once in the morning and once at night. And then lastly, long acting insulins, as you can see, the brand names are shown here, and this typically tends to be the most pricey out of the options we have looked at today. So they are usually around 150 on average for five pens and usually contain three milliliters each. So they are taken once or twice a day at the same time each day. Awesome. So we're also going to look at some just non-insulin medications uh, that are used for uh, treating diabetes, and this is usually used to treat type 2 diabetes specifically. So you can see a good list of medications here, and of course, uh, there are going to be a lot more uh, that are going to be different compared to these, but this just gives a good ballpark estimate. As you can see, some of the most priciest ones are usually those injections like Ozempic, which can help to curb appetite. Um, you can see that this one is also just used once a week, whereas most others or tablets that you're taking uh, often multiple times a day. So out of the, the list here, you can you can get an, a good estimate of the different prices. And a lot of these are prices per tablet. So you're usually when you're picking this up, you're picking up a greater quantity than one. Uh, this will of course depend on your prescription and, and on your physician. For estimate, uh, let's say if it was 100, then you could just multiply this by 100 and you can see how many you're usually taking every day. Again, this will all differ based on uh, your specific prescription, your specific level of diabetes, and how aggressive the approach is. But you can see that some of them will range from about cents, just like cents a day, to some of them are gonna be about a couple dollars a day, um, and then some of them are gonna be a little bit more expensive than that, to uh, almost $7 a day. But you can get a good range of different prices here. Again, all of these are approximations, and um, these prices reflect up about how the market was looking in the last couple of years. So it's pretty recent data. So the coverage providers, the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care for um, coverage when looking at these types of medications and the Ontario Drug Benefit Plan. So um, just to kind of summarize who qualifies, so patients on a provincial social assistance program and those who are 65 years of age or older and for what supplies. So the supplies typically tend to include diabetes supplies, which are most types of insulin um, and oral medications, so like the ones that Nurmay mentioned, um, and blood testing strips. So just something to note is if you are 65 years of age or older and are using the ODV and have an annual income of 16,000 or more, um, you'll have to pay an annual deductible of $100 up front. After that, you'll be paying around $6.11 per prescription. Um, if your annual income, however, is less than the $16,000 um, per year, there will be no upfront payment um, that'll be required and you'll be paying a $2 prescription fee. So you can consult your pharmacist for more information or your local services agency to learn more about qualifying for this coverage. Wonderful. Thank you so much for listening uh, to us talk about the different prices for diabetes related medications. Uh, we hope you were able to take something away from this and uh, we hope to see you at our next sugar hour. Bye and have a great day. Bye.